Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the XR Club with another quick tip video tutorial. Video tutorials of less than five minutes, which I'm putting all into the one playlist. But before we get stuck into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications button so you don't miss another video again. In this video, we're going to look at a funnel chart. Visualizations are improving all of the time and there's new visualizations constantly being added to Excel. The funnel chart has been there, I think now since Excel 2016, maybe it was 36516, but the funnel chart has been there for some time and we're going to delve into that in this video. So let's hop over and take a look. Funnel chart is often used to represent stages in a process or stages in a sales funnel or other type of lead magnet funnel. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a funnel chart, just like the one you see on the screen now. We have some example data and to create a funnel chart, you need two columns of data. Our data has our funnel process in the first column and then it has our values in the second column the funnel in this case is website visitors and we have funnel pages so first of all somebody visits the website then they visit a sign up page if they then sign up this brings them to a thank you page after this they then if they purchase something go on to a checkout page and this is the sales funnel involved in a particular website once you have your two columns set up, one with the stages of your process and the other with the values, you can select the data and you can go to insert and you can first try recommended charts. Now very often if the data is set up, recommended charts will actually bring you in a funnel type chart. If it doesn't, you need to select it from the waterfall charts and in here you will see a funnel chart. Now I'm going to make this chart a, a little bit bigger so you can actually see it and we can change this to website funnel and then you can make other changes according to your needs. For example, you can change the actual chart design by selecting on any of the, the designs that are available for you. You can also then change the colors within the chart from the standard colors to different colors. Now don't forget we have chart elements that we can access from the left hand side of the chart design ribbon or you can also access them from this little bar here. So we could add in a legend to make a chart more easily understandable and from legends you can decide where you want this to be. So if we were to put it on the bottom, for example, we also then have our styles and color option from within here as well. Now, the thing with these sort of charts, if your data is not laid out in the correct way, so if you have a column bigger, you won't see it as a proper funnel. So it's worth making sure that you have your data set up in the correct order from the beginning. 